This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing tips, tricks, and hidden techniques in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to access a hidden keyboard shortcut to add audio fades to your clips. If we go back to Final Cut Pro Preferences and go to Editing, there's one more setting which can save us a ton of time. It's this one, Audio Fade Duration. We can apply a keyboard shortcut that adds audio fades to all of our clips, and it will apply the default duration, whether that's a tenth of a second or a second or whatever number you want. The default is five, but you can change it just by typing in whatever number you want. I'll make it a second. That's way too slow for an intro fade, but sounds good for a closing fade. And close the preferences. Now, let's go to Final Cut Pro. Go down to Commands, Customize, and I'm going to search for up here, search for the word Fade, and four options show up. Apply Audio Fades, Remove Audio Fades, Toggle Ins and Toggle Outs. I'm going to apply the Audio Fade, and the way that we apply it is we look to see what keys are available. Well, anything that has a color that's not gray, it's got a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. I'm going to click the Option modifier and notice that A is gray, meaning there's no keyboard shortcut associated with Option A. I'll grab the text, drag it on top of the word A. It says, wait a minute, you can't change the default command set. All right, I'll make a copy. And I'm going to call it Larry's Default Set. And click OK. And notice now, Apply Audio Fades has been given Option A. When I save this and close it, when I select an audio clip and type Option A, notice it automatically applies those fades based upon the default duration to my audio clip. Now these fades are fully adjustable. You can click and drag them as you see fit and control click on the dot and you can change the curve that's assigned to that particular fade. So these are fully editable. All you've done is to create a keyboard shortcut that simplifies adding the fade in the first place. There's one other option. If we go back to Commands, Customize, and let's search for Fade. And this time I want to toggle the audio fade in and out. I'm going to assign that to Option. I'm going to assign that to Option A. Notice now the keyboard shortcut moves down. Save it and close it. And this time we're going to type Option A. And the fades that are there are gone. If I type Option A again, the fade that's there is, is restored. So I can toggle the fade on the in. Or I could have a second keyboard shortcut that toggles the fade on the out. If you're always doing audio fades to your projects, these two keyboard shortcuts apply a fade to both the in and the out, or toggle the fades on or off for the in or toggle them for the out, can save you a ton of time. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at tips, tricks, and hidden techniques inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 276. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.